There we go. How's it been working with uh, Ryan DeBong this year? It's been a lot of fun. Obviously, he's got a lot of experience where he's been, and now he's here. And so it's, it's awesome to just learn from him and soak in as much knowledge as you can. Um, and we, watch, we watch their film, and we have a lot of just stuff like, all right, like we watch their film a lot just to kind of get that in, but not really into practice, I don't think. We just kind of do what we work on. Is, it a pretty, is he a pretty easy coach to gel with? Yeah, I would say so, definitely. He's easy going, but at the same time, stern when he has to be, and he's an incredibly hard worker, and he's a, obviously a genius guy, so it's been really good. What about second scrimmage? I know issues in the red zone according to Nick and everything but do you feel like you got better from the first scrimmage in some ways or definitely I think like we as a position group being the tight ends I think we definitely improved from the first scrimmage to the second as you see a lot during camp from the first scrimmage to the second always a a big jump I think definitely as a team and as an offense we improved from the first to the second as far as just like doing your job as, as a position is, is it because I know at first probably you're thinking through a play as you go out or block or whatever is it becoming more natural where you just react? Definitely. You can, you, can, you can play faster. You're getting the offense down. You know what coaches expect and what they want. You can, you can play faster. And you just do your job better. When you get to this point in camp, how much is it of a grind, just a mental grind, that you're going up against the same players you know, day in, day out in practice? How much is it a grind by now? You know, I think that's a, that's a really good point because everybody thinks camp, they think the physical grind. But as much as a, of a physical grind, it's also a mental grind. I mean, you're here every day for hours on hours on hours and you really got to focus in and hone in and focus on doing your job every single day every single play especially if you play against such great players here every single down so mental toughness is something that Saban touches on a lot so going back to the point he just made what's something that you guys do to stay sharp um they, we focus a lot on sleep a lot on rest getting your rest around like that's been an, an emphasis i think for us especially to a couple guys they've been like look get your sleep get your rest that's a big component of performing at your your, your highest level so rest. What have you seen from guys like Irv Smith and Kyle Edwards? I think they're both really good players. I think Irv's really developed a lot in this offseason. He's going to be able to help, help us a tremendous bit. And Hale, Hale's as reliable as it gets. Really good blocker. He can catch the ball. He's, he's a really good tight end. I would think a lot of people think, well, they might would get upset if they're not the guy. But the other side of that coin is, if you got two or three guys rotating, you can really give it your all and not have to not take a play off, but you know what I'm saying, where you're not out there 60 plays, you might be out there 25 or 30, and you can bust it. You know? Exactly. I mean, I think it's almost better you have a stable of guys where everybody has a job that they do, and they can go out there and contribute and do what they're supposed to do. And then you have those guys like like Irv Smith and Hale Hinches. You play with them. I mean, they push you every single day, and I can push them. And we all make each other better. We all do things better than the other player, and we all have our, our spot and our role to play in the team. So I think we do that pretty well. How would you describe the development of defense? Ooh. <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> I mean, they're they're fast. I think that's one of the words. They're, they're fast and they're physical. Physical at the point of attack, and they can they can move and they run around. They're not afraid to hit you. So, what are some early thoughts on Florida State? Uh, I think we're we're getting to start Florida State either today or tomorrow. So we'll start looking in, but then we're gonna start honing in, working on game one. So of course they're they're a really good team, as expected, and so we'll, we'll just hope focus in, start game planning for them, and see where it goes. Cool. Appreciate it.